I'm so, so sorry, Wipeout fans. I'm going to disappoint you with my answer. I think that both Redout and Wipeout are brilliant titles. Super fast, um, but in that race, I'm afraid, I'm afraid that Wipeout, the Mac Daddy of the 90s, the king of speed racers, is no longer king. We have a new top dog, and that top dog is Redout. And why? Because the environments are bright and colorful and zip by with music tracks that really thump, like drums in some bassy bass line with bass in your face. And <laughs> the originality of the environments, the art style, the color, uh, just the sheer intensity and the feel of tactile. The tactile response in both games is just sublime, but Redout does stand out here. It stands out on visuals, fun, intensity, and overall immersion. Whereas Wipeout is a touch better for comfort and social. It has a bigger current, concurrent, online multiplayer base right now. Of course, with the recent Omega release allowing two of the three packaged games to be played multiplayer online. However, in contrast, Redout is a beautifully designed game from a multiplayer experience because the DLC packs, which are well, well worth buying all of them, by the way, they are amazing. None of your friends need to buy those as well. The host can have them and everyone else gets to play. So hats off to the team behind Redout for that one. But the comfort options in Wipeout stand out and being able to float around a track are great. So both games totally earn your money. But if I was to choose between the two, Redout takes the lead. Till the next time, ciao ciao. <laughs>